a Georgia first, maybe, or something like that. All right, mate, let's bring, let's it, get to, into the bring light. it into the sunlight. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's going to be a pretty. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Um, oh, I think mate. that's Spanish. Hi guys, how's it going? We're saddle hole hunting today. I'm with my friend Julio, who's behind me, waving. And we are at the first location, which is a saddle hole that away. Right behind you, yeah. Right behind me. Mm -hmm. Nice 1700s looking saddle hole. So we shall see what we shall get. This so I'm quite sure that what I've got here is a button. It's a low signal, which Like I said before, Alan, the, uh, the ground is, is not very dig friendly. No, it's pretty rough it's here, right? It's very stony right under the surface, and there's a lot of roots. So I think what I, what I like to do here is peel off the first layer. This is going to be a deeper button. Hang on. Oh, dear. Ah, the root. <laughs> ah, the root, yes. But it's, it's down there somewhere. I may have to do this just to get the probe deep enough to give me a bearing on where things are. Here we go. So here we are. What we've got here is a thimble. Excellent. Look at that. That's cool, man. I was thinking it was a button, it was such a low signal. Now that there is 18th century thimble. Not badly preserved, a bit of a piece missing there. That I certainly didn't knock off, but there you, there you have it. Nice. And now you can go on and dig your button, Alan. Let's see what I've got in my hole, because I have a signal. <laughs> Fantastic. Nice. Deep in this hole and behind that rock, I got a target. It took me ages to get it out, so I didn't want to do a live dig. But it's right over here in the spoil someplace. Uh, I saw it come out. Where is it? Get my pin pointer. I'm trying to find it. Let's see. Where is it? No, oh, there it is. Right there. You know what? It's a coin. I thought it was a button. It's a coin. Oh, it's a. A wheat scent, I think. <laughs> Let me give it an old trouser rub. I don't know what this is. Or is it an Indian hat? I don't know. I'm not sure. No, I think it's a wheat head or a wheat scent. I've got a cracker of a signal mate right here in the hole. Okay. Uh, just right before I, uh, I, I it's either a coin or a button, and I must be touching it with the probe. Oh, it's round. Nice. Oh, I feel a shank, mate. Oh, nice. There's the shank. Oh, that's a big one, huh? It's it's a big one, it's flattened. Lovely. The shank is flattened. Let's see the backs. Oh, look at this, it's got a nice starburst. Oh, design, look right? at that, yes it does. Let me get down on it. Look at that. Cool. That's beautiful, that is period, that's 1700s. That is colonial. Nice. Fantastic. Okay guys, I've got a bit of a tone here, a bit of a signal. I don't know what it is. I do know it's kind of close to the top here, so we're going to find it together. And um, I know it's really close, so I'll get Julio to come on down. And we'll start around here. Okay, there we go. It's kind of there, I think. Yep. Let's tease her out. It's looking very thin and coppery looking. Oh. oh, what have you got there? It could be a button or I don't feel a shank. Oh, oh it's a coin. It's a coin. There's a coin. Fantastic. Um, I have no clue what it could be, but uh, I see a rim around the outside there, so that could be. A Georgia first, maybe, or something like that. All right, mate, let's bring, let's it, get to, into the bring light. it to the sunlight. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, that's going to be a pretty. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Um, oh, I man. think that's Spanish. <laughs> it's, I'm it's not Spanish. sure. I'm not sure, <laughs> but it's, I. You've got. Oh a my God! It's. Got a, a oh my. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe it. Oh, I don't believe this, man. Oh, me. I thought it was a button, maybe. Oh, I can't believe it. We're going to have to clean that up. Look at that. The, the sunlight is glaring on it, right? Bring it back into the shade. Mate. I saw the cross on the back. I'm like, wait a second. Right there, right there, right there. So I can get the... There's the shield. There's the backs. So that's very early. That's seven, early 1700s. That's yes. Get in. Uh, yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Woohoo. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, very happy for you, Nate. Man, that's cool. So Julio is in the part of the cellar hole where the kitchen may have been because he's starting to find kitchen type items. So what do you got there, mate? I've got a gorgeous little 1700s spoon. Okay, I'm gonna get down on that so you can have a bit of a look at it. That is pretty. Very. Yeah. And I've got the remains of a knife. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right there. That's very neat. Yeah. So definitely on the kitchen area. We'll see what else we can find here. Yeah. So uh, have you found any else since I last seen you? I have. I've actually found a beautiful little button, which hopefully the light will catch some oh, of the yes. design. It's got a little bit of a sunburst design in the middle. Let me see if I can get down on that a bit. Here we go. Yeah. Right there. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. So... We're onto a good site. We are. I've had some widgets myself, a couple of little small busted buttons and stuff. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I really enjoyed here. Yeah. And we've got how many more sites to go? Two. Oh yeah. Two, three. <laughs> <laughs> the day ain't gonna be long enough, mate. <laughs> well, this is gonna be one long video. Yep. <laughs> okay, guys. So this site is very exciting. Uh, I may have a coin here. Could be a button. Um, I had to work for this one. Uh, you'll see when Julio goes down, I had to move this giant boulder. But uh, you can probably see Santa screen maybe, a green looking disc. So what do we have? It's looking like a coin. Of course it could be a button, but uh, let's flip it over. It is a button. Is it a button? <laughs> I thought it was a coin for sure. Oh yeah, because it has that thickness to it, doesn't it? But sure. Patina. Oh, that's a oh. nice big old button. Too. But it's still a good one. Definitely. It's got the shank. It's a nice shank on it, yeah. It's a little different to the other button that we saw. Different sort of time period. But cool. Still a nice find. All right. We have moved on. We uh, left that other cell hole behind us. The finds were getting a little slim, and we have a, a schedule to keep to today. So we're on uh, cellar hole number two, and I've had a I've had a button, and now I've had another button. First one wasn't so good, but this one is a, a nice looking tombax. So I thought I'd share the find with you. Out of that hole, right there, kind of looks shiny. Very well preserved. If you saw that, you might think it's silver, right? It's so pretty looking. But it's uh, that tombak material. So, brass really. Cool. Second cellar hole, 1700s. <laughs> I got a really weird signal, Alan. Uh, one way it ran, re rang really good, and the other way it rang like iron. It, it, it was nulling. But I went on the good signal. Yeah. And it's not big iron, which is what I initially thought. What and do, what and feeling thinking? around in the hole, I'm feeling some. It's round. Okay. Oh. oh. What the heck is that? Oh, wow. What is it, mate? I. <laughs> what is it? A pinwheel? It's, it's got a. Sh it's got a. It's oh, look at that! I can see the outline of a shank on the back. See it? Yeah, I see it. No I see it right there. That's, that's a big button. So it is. If if this, I mean, this 
a button? I mean, look at it. It's You'd like think big, it would be the top of a salt and pepper shaker, but like this is... Big, it's like a big dandy button, like a really, yeah. like a flash one, you know yeah. what I mean? But I mean, look at it. It's, it's been... It's hold. It's, it's... It's silvered on the front there. I can't wait to clean this up. Silvered on the front. Turn it around, mate. Yeah. Yep. And copper on the back. That's the, the, the base metal shining through. Yeah. But then it's silvered on the front. And there's... So there's right there that 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 detail that's the remains of the shank yeah but uh, that's incredible i've never found that's a like beauty that. mate that's a beauty i like it incredibly ornate nice wow. Wow. okay so i'm really excited i've got a really good target um, i'm right down in the cellar hole and there's not much nails going on in here so i'm surprised but a nice target and Julio's going to pan down to where the hole is now i don't know if you can see it yet but look at that it's a beautiful, intact pewter spoon. Nice little tiny one. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. I have never found one like this. Intact. Intact. Yeah. Yep. That is gonna that's just a lovely relic. I mean beautiful little relic. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Seventeen hundreds all day long. And I would hazard oh. to guess early seventeen because at the back here, we call this the drop on a, on a spoon like this, and that almost looks like a double drop, which is the uh, just after rat's tail type spoons of the 1600s, you go into this, so early 17, which kind of fits the site from the buttons we've been finding. So, uh, very cool. Lovely. There we go, little button. Looks to be a little one piece, maybe. Or maybe a two piece, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's good to see it.